All right, I just posted a picture on Facebook of a knife that I used to own that was made by the same company that makes this pen. And I don't own the knife anymore, but people are already asking questions, and I thought that might be a cool time to make another video about this awesome pen gun and to talk about why this pen gun is different than some other pen guns that are out there. So to begin with, let's take a look at it. Um, it's a, a pen gun. This one is a non-NFA item, and it's made by the... Uh, R.J. Braverman, if that'll focus, uh, R.J. Braverman, Meredith, New Hampshire. So uh, these pen guns were made uh, a while ago, I think in the 80s, and they made quite a bit of them. Uh, now a regular pen gun would be in any other weapon, and a regular pen gun would be fired like this. This pen gun is not in any other weapon because it doesn't fire like this. In order to check this one out, you, you pull, there's spring tension here, so I'm pulling this like sheath and then as I pull it you see how the trigger pops out and then I can bend it on that little pivot there and now it has a pistol grip and a trigger and those two things take this out of the realm of NFA or out of the realm of the National Firearms Act regulated firearms and brings it back down to a regular pistol it takes an effort to turn it into this mode and then once it's in this mode it's a pistol it doesn't look like a other pistols I guess but it is a single shot pistol so very little difference between this and maybe a Derringer uh, as far as the law at least so uh, let's take a look it's got a safety here uh, this little ring will spin and I think that's marked somehow this side says S oops I'm not firing. this side says S so this little thing spins and you can really tell from down here so there's that little linkage or something and when this line is in the way, it won't move, and when this line's in the way, it will move. So let's put the safety back on, and now we can twist the barrel off. So I'm pulling off the barrel and the, cha and the uh, chamber, and that's what that piece would be. So this is the rest of the gun. I've got a little dummy round for a uh, 22 long rifle. We'll put that in there. This one happens to be 22 long rifle. They were also made in 22 Magnum and 25 ACP. There might have also been a 380, if I remember correctly. So now if this was loaded, I wouldn't want to, uh, I'd want to put it back together this way. Then I could take that safety back off, twist this collar, pull the safety back off, and then I basically just pull, you can imagine the, the trigger pivots down here, so I'm going to kind of pull up and back, and it's easy to just put your th thumb here, your finger on the trigger there, and you heard the noise, that was the hammer going off. So I just pulled it, and now it's got a dead trigger. So now if I wanted to cock it again, um, I could pull spring tension down, pull it out straight, let it all go back together, the spring will pull it back together, and there it is all back together. The barrel won't come off when it's in this mode, so now I can bring it back, put that uh, safety on, and now the barrel will twist off, and I could eject that round if it would come out, but it's uh, kind of stuck in there right now, so we'll leave it in there. So now again, I would move my hand out of the way, and I could twist the barrel back on, leave the safety on it, be ready to go. However, this one, this model has a threaded barrel, so I can take this Jumtek suppressor and thread it on there as well. And we've got videos of shooting this guy with the suppressor on, with a real suppressor. This isn't a real suppressor. Then uh, that makes a pretty neat little item. You could have it loaded, leave the safety on, put it away, have it stowed somewhere. I keep this in my operational briefcase and uh, then when I need to deploy it, take the safety off, it's good to go. A little bit, it doesn't, that's a little bit louder than it actually is when you shoot it with the suppressor. So that's the uh, Braverman pen gun. There's a few different styles. Uh, this is my favorite style because it's mine. And uh, there's one style with a much longer barrel that almost looks like a cane or maybe an umbrella uh, center post. Uh, then there's, like I say, there are different calibers. Uh, then there's that type that's a, a pocket knife where they basically take the gun contraption and add it to a pocket knife. And I owned that one for a brief time. I was stupid then and I sold it because I needed money. And I wish I hadn't have. So I posted the uh, picture of the knife on Facebook. Check that out. Here's the new video of the pen. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to see more about this pen, I must have posted 12 videos of this thing so far. So check them out. As always, thanks for watching.